We're ready to bless the Lord at all times. I'm going to turn you in the hands of the deacons and give us devotion. Amen? Amen. Let's go higher in the Lord. It says, I am the vine, mm -hmm. and you are the branches. Yes. If a man re remain in me, and I in him, mm -hmm. he will bear much fruit. Oh, yes. After, apart from me, mm -hmm. you can do nothing. All right. If you do, if anyone does not remain in me, mm -hmm. he is like a branch that is thrown away. And white and, and wicked. So ranks are picked up and thrown into fire and burned. Right. If you remain in me mm -hmm. and my word remain in you, All right. ask whatever you will, and I will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing your service to be my disciples. May God have a blessing to read and do it in holy word. Amen. 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 Our Father in heaven. All right. Yes, sir. We come to you today. Yes. We bow heads and bend your knees, Father. Oh, yeah. Asking you. Yes. Walk with us, Father, Please. on this journey, Father. We all need yes. you. Yeah. We love you. Yes. And we know that you love us, Father. All right. Yeah. And we know that you didn't bring us this far to leave us, Father. Yes. And we know that you will be with us for help. Yes. In our ways, Father. Yes. And we just want to thank you for it. Thank you. Father. We have no one else to turn to. We just, we just know yeah. you are the man, Father. You are the man that this, Father. Yes. And we just want to thank you for it. Thank you, Father. Uh, continue to bless Mount Zion. Yeah, come on. Because we need you here, Mount Zion. Yes, yes. And we want to love, honor, and cherish and keep you in our hearts, Father. Yes. yes. Always. Yes. Always. Yes. We know you will be blessed with you. Yes. Father, we want to ask a special uh, blessing for the pastor and his family. Yes. And all the yes. ministers, oh, yeah. and deacons, and all the facilities of the church, Father. We all need you, Father. Yes. We yes. want to grow strong in our faith. Yes, yes. And uh, we just ask you to continue to keep us, Father. Yes. Father, I'm going to ask you. Yes. Go out of prison. Yes. Go out of jail, Father. Yes. Go out of hospital. Go out of yes. home, Father. Yes. Because they need you too. Yes. Some of them have a desire to, to be in a place of worship and yes. Father. Yes. But they cannot be. Oh, yes. We want to ask you to set. We got to touch them, Father. Yes. Give them a lucky touch, Father. They need you. Yes. They need you probably more than ever now, yes. Father. We want to ask you to continue to love and keep them, Father. Yes, yes. Father, I want to ask you to, to bless my family, Father. Yes, I love yes, my wife yes. and, and my sisters, my yes. nieces and nephews, Father. They all love you, Father. Yes. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Father. I want to come thank this far, Father. Yes. Yes. Father, I just want to say we, we can't love you enough, Father. We can't say yes. thank you enough, yes. Father. Yes. 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 Everyone here, Father, is here because of you. Yes, yes. Because of the love they have for you, Father. Yes. Not the love of, of each other, but the love of you. And Father, if we love you, we love each other. Oh, yes. And say, how can we love God and not love each other? Yes. That would be impossible. Yes, Lord. Father, yes. I just want to thank you. Yes. All of you. Yes, Lord. Just keep us in your love and care. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, I'll give you another question. We want to ask from your daughter's son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for all you've done on him before. Yes, Lord. Lord. Lord, we need you right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for serving right now. Yes, Lord. Yes. Lord, come by and just Please want to serve. Yeah. 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 Let us feel your spirit on this table. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lord, we need you on him before. Oh, yeah. We need you in a mighty special way on him before. Yes, yeah. We've been through so many things on him before. Oh, yeah. Lord, you've been now with us, Lord. So, Lord, we say thank you right thank now. Thank you, Lord. Touch it right now. Touch us, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Bless us one by one, Lord. Oh, yeah. Lord, bind us together, bless us the whole way. Yes. Oh, yes. Lord, we need you on him before. Oh, yeah. We need thank you to ask you for him. Yes. Lord, we lean on your mighty yes. long time. Yes. Sometimes we didn't know. Oh, yeah. Lord, but you was there anyhow, Lord. Yes. Lord, yes. we say thank you right thank now. Thank you, Lord. Touch us right now, Lord. That's okay. Hold us in the hollow of your hand on him, Lord. Oh, yeah. Touch my eyes right now, Lord. Yes. My eyes are needed to him, Lord. Oh, yeah. Me and Lord, we pray for all of you. Oh, yes. Your name, Lord. They all need to him, Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord, we all going through the same thing with him, Lord. Yes. Oh, yeah. We all going through the same thing with him, Lord. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come by and just be a part of this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Lord, we pray for Jefferson family with you, Lord. Yes, oh, yeah. Touch him right now, Lord. Touch him, Lord. And you take on more responsibility for him. Oh, yeah. Be yeah. with him on him, Lord. Now, Lord, you're going to need to, Lord. Man's going to get hard on him, Lord. Oh, yeah. So, Lord, he just needs to lift on you and lean on you and him. Yes. Oh, touch him right now, Lord. Touch him. Don't let him fail on him, Lord. Yes. Just touch him in a mighty special way, Lord. Oh, yeah. Just touch his family, Lord. Yeah, let him be there to support him on him, Lord. Yeah, so yeah. He's going to need his family on him, Lord. Oh, yeah. Just touch him right now, Lord. Touch him, Lord. Lord, we say thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Say, Lord, we pray for our pastor right here yeah. last time, Lord. Yeah. Touch him right now, Lord. Yeah. Need to watch him in the Lord. Touch yeah. his family, Lord. Yeah. Hold him in the heart of your hand, Lord. Say, yeah, Lord, touch the one who's going to bring your word on this day, Lord. Yeah. Let us, let us hear from you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we want to hear from you, Lord. Yes. That's what we come here for, Lord. We come to hear from you, and we come to lift up and praise your holy name. Yes. So, Lord, you deserve all the glory. Yes. So, Lord, we come to be a blessing to have to us. So, Lord, we just bless you right now. We just bless you right now. Bless you right now. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Yeah, Lord, nobody can have him, Lord, Heavenly Father. Touch him right now. Yes. You know what he's standing in need of, Lord, Heavenly Father. Touch him right now, Lord. Lord, Lord, we love you, Heavenly Father. Lord, Lord, you're very loved over. Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Yeah, Lord, we thank you for your son, Jesus. The dying on the cross, I see. Oh, yeah. So we may have a chance to be real life. Yes. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Come on, somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise.
Come on, that's good. Come on, somebody. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. For truly, He is worthy. There is no other name that is greater than the name of God. Amen. Y'all know how I am in Mount Zion. Amen. Listen, we ain't a dignified church. Yeah. Amen. We believe in praising and uplifting the name of the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Amen. God has been too good to us for us to come to the house of God and look like us and God is twins. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but I'm here today because God has been good to me. Is there anybody that can testify that I'm here today because God has been good? Come on, y'all. Anybody can testify that I'm here today because God lifts me up this morning. God is going to be on my way. He's going to be on my way. There's somebody at the hospital wish they could praise God. There's somebody at the hospital wish they could praise God. Somebody died. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, can I tell y'all something? Listen, listen. Um, um, stop being so caught up on coronavirus. You won't be caught up on COVID 19 and you won't miss God. Yeah. All right. Y'all don't want to talk to me here. Because you so focused on a virus. Come on, somebody. And you still got malice in your heart. Y'all ain't going to talk to me here. You still can't speak to nobody. And you still can't love nobody. And that today you can be here. Tomorrow you can be on the ventilator. And so while I have a chance, I'm going to tell God thank you. I got enough friends, so I ain't come to church to get no friends. But while the blood is running warm in my veins, I'm going to tell God thank you. And so look at me crazy when I cry. Look at me crazy when I praise God. But you don't know the stuff that I've been through. You don't know the pain that I had to endure. You don't know the stuff that I had to go through. I lost a mother. I lost a father. Somebody's dying. Yes, yes, and the church folks still can't love one another. Yes, what about y'all? This week I told my family, I love you. Yes, Whatever I've done to you, I don't know what I've done, but I love you. If I've done yes, anything yes, wrong, yes, please yes, forgive me. Yes, yes, Amen. Because tomorrow they're here, and then today the they're here, tomorrow they're gone. Yes, yes, um, um, Mount Zion and God's people and, and, and the guests that are here this morning, listen, don't get so caught up on COVID, yes, you miss God. Yes, Amen. Yes, God, listen, yes, folk are dying from stuff other than COVID. Amen. 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 They're dying from other stuff than COVID. Amen. And we, we are stuck in this trance, stuck in this, yes. this hole of everything that is going on. And can I tell you, God is still blessing. Yes. Amen. God's people are still being blessed in the middle of a pandemic. Amen. 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 People are getting houses. People are getting cars. People are getting promotions on their job. It's because the Lord says, I never seen the righteous forsaken. That's the word. Or his seed begging bread. Come here. The Bible also says, for we know that all things work together for the good of those that love God and who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Listen, we are excited. It is our morning worship hour here, our first Sunday at Mount Zion. Amen. It's our Sunday to uplift and praise God and to remember what God has done for us on the cross. Also, I am excited today. Yes. Amen. We have a deacon of all the nation. I will very all brother Daniel Jefferson. Come on, let's come on, Come on, Amen. We are excited today for our very own brother Melvin Jefferson. 
Amen. On today and so towards the end of the program, you may be seated towards the end of the program, we're going to have our deacon ordination. Amen. 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 I'm going to do it towards the end. Amen. To make sure that folks stay all the way. Amen. 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 I've been in church long enough when you do your part. Amen. For leave. Amen. 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 So I put it towards the end so they can stick around. Amen. 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 Stick around for the preaching. Amen. To make sure. Amen. That we celebrate Brother Jefferson on today. I, I know he's ready. Amen. I know he's ready on today. And we are excited for what he's doing. Greetings to his family. Good to see y'all on today. Amen. And God's people that are in, in the service. At this moment, we're going to have our pulpit devotion. Amen. We're going to have a scripture um, and a prayer um, by Reverend Brooks. And as soon as he's done, we're going to push on into the program. We have two people that's going to speak today about the role of a deacon. Um, that's going to be um, Sister Mary O'Banion. Amen. Amen. Her father is here. Um, deacon O'Banion, she's going to speak on today as well as Minister Evans is going to speak after that. And if you have not yet... You should have received your Lord's Supper cup on your way Amen. inside of the service. As soon as we get with those two things, we're going to prepare for the Lord's Supper. Amen? Amen. Amen. And if you will stand at this moment, we're going to have scripture and a prayer. In spite of all that is going on in today's times, God has given us the strength, the blessings, and the power to keep on pushing on. Yes, Amen. 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 So I was made up in my spirit to read Psalms 34. Psalms right. 34. Amen. In spite of what's going on, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, sir. In spite of what's going on, I will bless the Lord on, at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My right. soul, my deep down in my soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And this is what we all get together and join in. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exhort his name together. I read to you the 34th number of Psalms. May you be blessed in the hearing and reading and doing of God's holy word. Father, we thank you right now for what you're doing. We come to you in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, to say thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. You've allowed us to see a new day that was not promised. Yes. And for that, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Lord God, we thank you for last night's land down in this yeah. oh, yeah. up, yes. Father God, we thank you for the dispatching of your angels to yes. encamp around us to see us safely to another day. Right. You allowed us to wake up and to dress up and drive up, Father God, to lift you up. Yes. And here we are once again to magnify your name. Yes. We've come together to bless you, Father God, for oh, yeah. you've been so good to us. Yes. You've been so excellent, marvelous in all your works, oh God. Yes. We thank you right now thank for you. what you're about to do and what you've already oh, done. Yeah. Yes, yes. Help us to give you the praise in spite yes. of, oh God. Yes. For you're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be praised. Bless the man of God who will stand before your people and rightly divide the word of truth. That after yes. hearing the word of God, lives will change yes. oh, yes. and will not remain the same in Jesus' holy name. Let every heart say amen. 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 Are y'all ready to praise the Lord? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, yeah. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a short talk on the role of a deacon uh, by Sister Mary O'Banion. And as soon as she's done, we're going to have a short talk as well from Minister Rico Evans. Amen. Give her a hand as she comes in. Amen. Thank you. First, given out of the God, Pastor Tyler Byron, um, ministers, members, Christians, and friends. Uh, it is a pleasure to be here today. Um, when I accepted to do this, I didn't realize that it was uh, the day after my mom's birthday. <laughs> she would have been 88 yesterday. Oh, and so my, my head is a little cloudy, but you know, I'm going to do the best I can. Um, as a deacon, uh, I lived with one. <laughs> um, I, um, my dad, he's been a deacon all my life that I know of. <laughs> uh, when I see him, I see a strong man of God. Yes. All right, all right. And as a deacon, I see him as 
a man that not only does practice uh, the will of God at church, but he does it at home as Amen. well. Amen. And he uses it to bring up his kids. Amen. And when I see him, I see this powerful man that has taught us that whatever we need to know, we go to the word. All we, right. All right. Whatever we do, go to the word. Amen. And so when I look at a deacon's role, I've never been a deacon because I'm lying. <laughs> but when I look at a deacon's role, I see where there is respect. Yes. Right. Where right. there is a man that is, there's one word that stick out to me, yeah. and that's assisting. Yes. Yes. Assisting the pastors, helping the pastor bring forth his vision to the church. Yes. Not yes. overpowering the pastor, yes. but right. assisting right. the pastor, yes. Yes. Right. respecting yes. the pastor's yes. right. vision and bringing the pastor's visions forth. Mm -hmm. And doing that, they are, and I see that, uh, I worked with uh, Brother Jefferson for a little while. I always thought he was a deacon. <laughs> I always thought he was already a deacon. Uh, because he has a powerful word. I never, at first he used to just sit there and I never had a uh, talk to him until we started working on a, a black history program together. And he gave me some good words of wisdom. He's a powerful man of God. And I see here at Mount Zion, all of the deacons that have come through here the ones that have passed on, the ones that are still here, they are all powerful men of God. Being in ministry, I had the opportunity to work with a lot of them. And when they give you advice, the advice that they give you, it is the word. It is, they find, uh, it is in the word. And it's not, you know, a lot of times you try to, there's chaos in the church. But whenever you have a deacon, the deacon is here to help the ministries in the church. And they are here to assist the pastor. And they are here to help to bring the pastor's vision forth. So my thing to you, Minister, uh, Brother Jefferson, is love your pastor. Be there yeah. for your pastor. Assist your pastor. And I know we all sometimes don't always agree, but he is your leader. He is the leader of this church. And so, at a role as a deacon, whatever he decides as far as his vision, help him to bring his vision to life yeah. in the church. Amen. And that is by doing that you are helping all of the members of the church. You are helping all of the organizations in the church to bring that vision forth. Love your pastor. Good morning, Mount Zion. Good morning. Good morning, Mount Zion. Good morning. We have a reason to be glad to be here today, amen. Yeah. Yeah. It is another blessed, blessed and beautiful day that God has made, amen. Yeah. And we just want to rejoice in it. Yeah. I thank God for this opportunity to stand before you today on this grand occasion. It's not every day that Mount Zion gets to uh, bring another deacon on board, amen. Yeah. And I think today we got a good one that's a candidate, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This morning I have the pleasure of speaking on, on the deacon. 
Brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm honored and humbled to stand here before you on this day, on this occasion, and to speak to you on the topic of the word deacon. Philippians 2 and 9 says, there is one name which is exalted above all other names, yeah. and that name is the name Jesus. Yeah. The Greek meaning of the name Jesus is Savior. The reason that God elevated him is because of his obedience to the Father and because of his unselfishness. And the price he paid on Calvary's cross. Yeah. For our sins and our salvation. Yeah. Now, first Timothy lists, uh, Timothy and three list the qualifications of the deacon. And I'm not going to go in there because that's going to be discussed uh, later on and in quite depth. But the meaning of the word deacon in Greek is a powerful word that stood out to me. Yeah. The sound of the word has impact an impact, power, and that's what I believe a, a deacon represents. All right. Diakonos. Yeah. Ooh, that's like Mufasa, right? From the yeah. Lion King. <laughs> Mufasa, ooh. <laughs> Diakonos. Yeah. That's what deacons are. The meaning of that is servant, minister, attendant, helper. And that's in the noun and in the verb form. It actually uh, can be looked at from the aspect of who and what a person is, what's within that individual, the acts of the kingdom and of life that are the works of the hand, because it's not about who that individual is and what he can gain, mm -hmm. but it's about what he does for the Lord and how he represents himself for the kingdom, amen? Amen. What's more important, to serve or to be served? Yes. That's a rhetorical question. Ask yourself that. Yes, you I hope you know the answer by the time I'm done. Yeah. But too often the title and the role of, per uh, role of a person of a deacon is frowned upon and not celebrated. Who can attest to that? Deacons? Yeah. You can raise your hand. <laughs> Don't, be <laughs> shy. Don't be afraid. Even by himself because of child is ever required to perform the, the duty and the do it well. Early morning meetings, Programs, services, other duties, midweek phone calls, prayers, classes, rehearsals, meetings, weekend workshops, conferences, musicals, home visits, prayer, prayer visuals. All these are duties and requirements of a deacon. Yeah. Yeah. So it seems as though there's not enough hours in the day. It seems as though there may not be enough support and, and resources to get the job done. But guess what? You love doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. Just as one who has to tell his wife where uh, he has to go <laughs> when she may need him at home, uh -oh. <laughs> or he gets a little phone call in the middle of a family activity or something that could have waited until later, and she gives him that look. What? You know that look. When she steps back into the little one to eat. <laughs> or, or she's got uh, like, you know, uh, who that on that phone? <laughs> yeah, we know, we know. Uh, Y'all yeah, might as well go ahead and do that. Yeah. John 13 and 4 begins He rises from supper yeah. and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. Mm -hmm. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet yes. and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And 14 through 16, it says, if then, if I then, your yeah. Lord and Master, have washed your feet, yeah. ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Yeah. For I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Yeah. Yeah. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant right. is not greater than his Lord. Yes. Yeah. Neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. All right. If you want the one serving, then you must be the one being served. Yeah. You can't be lazy. A deacon isn't lazy. Yeah. How can you be lazy when you start your day before the, the sun rises, before anyone else gets to the sanctuary? You're unlocking doors, you're turning on lights, you're making sure the water works, you're making sure the equipment is good before anybody else ever steps up. He's not lazy. Yes. An interpretation of it is. Kick up dust as though you are a runner in, a, in haste in a race. The duties and the needs of others. Diakonos' servant has been in imperial chambers, 
dining halls of kings, board rooms of, of presidents. He also been on victorious battlefields and wars with great warriors like David and Joshua. Mm -hmm. They may not have been ordained as deacons, but they were servants, were they not? Mm -hmm. They helped bring forth the victories of the king. They helped bring forth the victories of the warriors. They helped bring forth the, victory, the victories of those that serve our Lord and Savior. Yes. Yes. All right. mm -hmm. That's what we're about. Mm -hmm. Most of the ones that go unnoticed are the ones that when the grass needs mowing, yeah. when the lights need changing, All right. when the roof needs fixing, yeah. when the toilet needs cleaning, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> or repair. They don't get noticed when those times come up. Yeah. It may not be as moment in his place to take control or to take the lead at times. He may just be the one that somebody that trusts him wants to just lend his ear, just to be heard. Just to be understood, find out what their role is in the church and how they can serve as well. Not to be the one that is in control and be overbearing, as my sister just said. Some of my favorite memories of being a uh, deacon, which I still am, the role is yeah. very different than being a minister. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being in the presence and the wisdom of Deacon O'Bain and Sister O'Bain when we took communion, mm -hmm. playing dominoes with Deacon Williams. In his latter days, to bring him comfort and solace. Praying with Deacon and Sister Johnson. Building a ramp for Sister Willis. Cutting firewood for Sister and Deacon Cole. Yeah. Taking food to the community members that were hungry. Singing and sharing the word of God in nursing homes, watching the spirit move the devil out when the devil is trying to keep you from being heard, from you being from the word going forth to those that need it. When nobody else has come by to see a man to check on Even moving furniture with some crazy church members. Huh? Some of my fondest and most loving members. Even though it might have taken some time and it might have been painstaking, but it wasn't. So much a sacrifice. Right. But it was taking time to share and put back into the ones that we care about and the ones that we love. Yeah, that's, right. good. Yeah, that's good. And my closing in the novel Paradise Lost by author Jim, John Milton, a line says, Better to rule in hell than to serve in heaven. Amen. But we all know that's a lie. Because Psalms 84 and 10 says, What? Yeah. For a day in thy courts right. is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God yes. than dwell in the tents of wickedness. Oh, yeah. That's it. The songwriter says, better is one day All right. in your courts. Yes. Better is one day yeah. in your house yes, All right. than a thousand elsewhere. Yeah. Yes. As long as Diakonos, the deacon, the yes. servant, remembers his charge and lets Jesus do the saving, yes. he's yes. done his job. All right. Continue to wash feet, feed the hungry, visit and pray for the sick and the shut-in, give to the poor, teach the word of God, and pray for this world. And God Amen. bless you and God keep Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Minister Evans and the Diakonos. Amen. That is what the deacon means. And we are excited. Listen, if you have your Lord's Supper cup, please, at this moment, we're going to prepare. Um, if the deacons can, as soon as the scriptures, as soon as the scriptures and the prayers is done, the deacons can line up here. If you don't mind, the Mount Zion deacons. And we'll prepare to take our Lord's Supper. Amen. Amen. This moment, we're going to have the scripture reading by Minister Borns. We'll have prayer. And we'll prepare for the Lord's Supper. Amen. 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 Our reading will come from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 30. Mm -hmm. And it reads. For I have received of the Lord, that which also I have delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup, and when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. 
this do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of the cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy be eateth and drinketh damnation unto to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak, and sick men among you, and many sleep. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you saying thank you this morning, Lord, for being who you are and what you are, oh God. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your mercy and your grace yes. towards each and every one of your creation. Lord, we come praying today for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that he was willing and obedient to go to Calvary's cross to shed it for each and every one of us. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the healing powers and the redemptive powers that it has, O oh Lord, that we remember today what he did for each and every one of us. As unworthy as we were, the blood of Jesus, O oh God, that knew no sin, the blood of Jesus, Father God, that knew no murder, the blood of Jesus that knew no lying, the blood of Jesus, O oh Lord, that knew no malice towards his brother and sister. Lord, we pray that each and every one of us today are covered and blessed and remember what he did for us on that day that he rose and heavenly father he is your son in jesus name we pray thank you lord amen, amen. 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 and also symbolic of this unleavened bread is the breaking of this body for the healing of this nation father we thank you right now for your healing power for what you perform and the breaking and healing of your body for the lows all over the land, all over the nation, all over the world. We thank you in the name of Jesus for this time and this moment. Forgive us of our sins, Father God. Amen. Wash us and make us whole and cleanse again. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The word of God says that Jesus Christ speaks to them. The Bible says, many are sick among you. The Bible says, let a man examine himself. Amen. At this moment, we'll give you a, mind, a moment of time pause and pray, whatever it may be, it may, may hinder you from partaking in this Lord's Supper. Give you time to spend time with God. The Word says, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. This is not symbolic of a first Sunday. This is not symbolic of um, a Wednesday night. A Sunday. God says, as often as you do this, you can do it every day. Amen. But the Lord says, when you do it, mm -hmm. he says, do this in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. It's not a time if you're hungry. Yeah. It's not a time to eat. But this is a time to be symbolic, thinking about what the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. has done Amen. for us. The Bible says Jesus Christ was there with the disciples at the table. Judas Iscariot had already betrayed the Lord in his heart. Jesus Christ didn't kick him from the table. Jesus already knew what he was going to do. But Jesus looked at the disciples and Jesus took the bread, he broke it, said, this is my body. Mm -hmm. Take, he, he, all of it. And he took the cup. He said, this is the New Testament of my blood. The word says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. He said, take, drink, ye all of it. I know it was the blood, and I know it was the blood, and I know it was the blood for me.
Amen. First word. Listen, we're going to get ready to the word of God. Amen. But before we get ready for the word of God, there is a song that says, God is the way maker. Amen. He's our miracle worker. He's our promise keeper. Amen. 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 You are here. Turn your lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are my waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper. So the text is amen. 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 I've been knowing Pastor Williams since I was eight years old. Amen. 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 Since I was eight years old. Amen. He looked young. Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. But I call him my big brothers in the gospel. Amen. Mount Zion, he is no stranger to us. 
Amen. Amen. We just left there. We had an amazing time in God. Amen. Amen. There with them. And so stretch your hand and say, Pastor William, preach. Don't no sugarcoat. No Don't cut it short. No just preach. Just Come on, give Pastor Williams a hand as you come at this time. Well, y'all, amen. How many of y'all really truly believe and thank God for what he can do for you and what he has done for you? Yeah. Amen. We serve an awesome God. Amen. And I'm glad to be here on today. Yes, I'm glad to be a part of this great celebration and elevation. Yeah. Someone say elevation. elevation. Amen. We're thankful for this opportunity. Thank God for the deacons that came along with me. Deacon Deacon Eric Bennett, amen. Give him a hand. Amen. Uh, Deacon Jeff on the street, thank God for them. Give him a great big hand as well. There is a pandemic going, but our worship never should stop. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it again. There's a pandemic going on, but our praise never should stop. All right, amen. amen. Because God always has a purpose and a plan. Amen. Amen. How many of y'all glad about that on today? Amen. Come on, I need some believers in the house. How many of y'all glad about that on today? Amen. 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 Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. A very familiar passage of scripture. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 All right. Amen when you have it say amen, amen. If you don't have it just say wait one minute Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 everyone say amen when you have it amen. Amen. amen amen scripture reads for I know the thoughts that I think toward you mm -hmm. said the Lord All right. thoughts of peace and not evil mm -hmm. to give you an expected end can I read it one more time for I know the thoughts, for I know the plans that I have for you. All right. To think toward you, said the Lord, yeah. thoughts of peace mm -hmm. and not of evil to give you an expected end. All right. Very quickly, I want to talk about on today and encourage someone on today, encourage the deacon on today, that there is a purpose for you. Uh, there is a purpose for you. Amen. Why don't you look at the person that's sitting close to you? Just look at them. Don't touch them. Just say, there's a purpose for you. Or you don't whisper and look at somebody on the other side and say, there's a purpose for you. Amen. Amen. There is a purpose and a plan for you. Amen. If I'm headed down Port Dallas to to pick up to pick up my granddaughter Erin yeah. Williams. If I'm headed downtown Dallas by way of the highway, mm -hmm. that downtown is my intended goal, yeah. and the highway is my route. But if I begin making my way to downtown and the highway is backed up due to construction or an accident, yeah. the backup interferes with me reaching my goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a problem. There's no problem. There's the, 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 the problem is, is the accident. But look at somebody and say, there's no problem. I can exit the freeway and take an alternate route yeah. to downtown Dallas. Yeah. Now, now it may take me a little out of the way, yeah. or take 
a bit longer, but I can still use the alternate route yeah, yeah. to get me to my goal. Yeah, right. Even if I get blocked on my alternate route yeah, yeah. to get to my goal, the accident may have interfered with my preferred route, yeah, yeah, right. but it does not interfere with my goal. Yeah, yeah, right. Even if I get blocked on my uh, on the way, you must understand, brothers and sisters, that this life, you're always going to have to take an alternate route. Oh yeah, I still yet, yet, yet another route that I can take to get to my same destination. God's comprehensive will, somebody say will, means when he is going downtown and when he has determined his ultimate goal, he will always reach that goal if individuals and Satan himself creates a block in God's plan. God is never limited to one route. Can I do a witness in the house? And I just want to encourage somebody in here on the day that whenever, whenever your route has been blocked, if there's a blockage or construction in life's highway, there is always another route. Come on, encourage yourself and say, I can go another way. I can go another way. And so now, here in our text, our writer tells us, he said, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. There are some points I'm going to give to you on today. God has a purpose for everyone. Someone say, I'm, 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 in, I'm in there, I'm in there, I'm in there, I'm in there. I'm in there. Yeah. Come on, say, I'm in there, I'm in there, I'm in there. This side say, I'm in there, I'm in there. God has a purpose for everybody. What he said, but uh, in Exodus chapter 9, 9, verse 16, but I have raised you up. Uh, for this very purpose that I might show you my power and that my name might be proclaimed in all of the earth. Oh, can I tell you something? God will set you up in a situation. I wish I had somebody that I've been set up in here. He'll set you up in a situation to where it looked like to the enemy. I wish I had somebody in here that your purpose will not be as plain as God has planned for you. But how many of y'all know that it's for all, for everybody? God will make sure that his purpose shall come to pass. Pharaoh mistakenly thought that he was in control. <laughs> However, God put him in the place of being an Egyptian leader for his uh, purpose. Uh, can I tell you something? Some people are in positions uh, only to be exposed. Yes, yes. Uh, there was somebody that was on your team. Uh, oh God. Uh, that you thought that they were they were that that they were that person. Uh, but God exposed them uh, to prove that even though they are not for you, as I had a witness, uh, no weapon formed against you uh, shall be able to prosper. Look at somebody and say, I got a plan, and there's a purpose, and, I, and God has a plan. Yes, and so now God has a purpose for everyone, including those who resist him. Ultimately, God will get the glory, no matter the person, because he is the giver of purpose. Oh God, somebody say he's the giver of purpose. And one thing that I like, I like about God is, is that I can love on the giver. Oh God, I can love on the giver because he keeps on giving. Somebody say over. Somebody shout over. I don't want to have no church. Somebody shout over. And so now you got to understand that first point was God has purpose for everybody. Secondly, God's purpose can't be undone. God's 
purpose cannot be cannot be undone. Can I get a witness in the house? God's purpose cannot be undone. In Job chapter 42, verse 2, it says, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. Once God has established his purposes for our lives, no one can change it. Yeah. Somebody should have shouted right there. I, I, yo, 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 yo. Can't nobody change what God is doing in your life. Somebody else should have shouted and ran right there. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to make it plain like a lag a lazy bag of potato chips. Can't nobody stop the plan of God. And so now you got to understand, my brother and sister, God's purpose can't be undone. Yes. yes, no man can open, and what door God has opened, no man can shut it. People will wear themselves out in efforts to make a, a situation turn boldly for believers, yet God will still ultimately accomplish his plan. Yes. Can I tell you something? You just stay on the battlefield for the Lord. Can I encourage you? You just stay, you just keep working while it's day. Because when night comes, I wish I had a witness. No, no, kick me down. Leave me down. Give me money. Just one of them. You must understand that there is a way that God will work in you. And God will work on your somebody say behalf. And so now, yet God will still ultimately accomplish his plan. And saints of God can take courage that he is working everything for our good. Someone say, take courage. Take courage, brother. Because he's working everything for your good. Take courage, brother. Because he's working everything for your good. Number three, God's purpose, God's purpose in is is the one that lasts. God's purpose is the purpose and plan that lasts. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm rubbing it like 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 Ben Day. God's yeah. purpose is the purpose and the plan that lasts. Right. Oh God, how many of y'all tried to do some stuff on your own? Yeah. But it seemed like every time you got somewhere, you ran into a roadblock, yeah. and you couldn't even take an alternative route yeah. because God has not given you the instructions. Yeah. <laughs> that you tried to go another route on your own. Yeah. Sometimes say you can't do it on your own. Yeah. Uh, you whispering. Somebody say you can't do it on your own. Yeah. You better wait. I say on yeah. the Lord because he will. Yeah. Somebody say give you strength. Yeah. Yeah. And so now, so now Proverbs 19, 21. Yes, yes. His plan and purpose will last. The lives of men and women are but a vapor. Yeah. However, God's purposes can be fulfilled throughout the multiple generations. Oh, yeah. We can make our plans and set out to see them accomplished. Yeah. But if we don't pray and seek God's direction, yeah, somebody say you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Oh God, somebody say you ain't going nowhere. Because you refuse to wait on somebody say wait on the Lord. How many of y'all know that you got to wait upon the Lord? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do, 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 I got some believers in here. Yeah. You got to wait, I say on the Lord. Right. And he will move you. Yeah. So God thinks about us. Yeah. Someone say he's thinking about me. Yeah. He's 
thinking about you even when you are at your worst. He's thinking about you even when you are doing your best. <laughs> Can I get a witness? But most of all, I thank God because he's thinking about me when I'm at my worst. Oh, God. You see, sometimes when you're at your worst, that's when people don't want to deal with you. Can I get a witness in the house? You see, when you're at your worst, you can't call everybody because they'll sit and watch the phone and they will never answer the phone. I'm talking about when you're at your worst. I'm talking about when you don't have a dime. I'm talking about when your jaw is gone. I'm talking about when your peace is gone. When you're at your worst, how do y'all know God works his best? He works his best. He thinks about us. He thinks about us. He thinks about us as far as he revealed to us in the Bible and in Christ. And as far as we may verify this revelation by experience. I just asked you, have you ever experienced it? Have you ever experienced, yes, your worst days? He is directly concerned with us, with his works, and with his children. Someone said, thank God for his works. Someone said, thank God for me, for being a child of the king. And God can, God, what God thinks about us is of great importance to us. Can I get a witness? If you think you're beautiful, God certainly thinks you're beautiful. Can I get a witness? Yes. If, 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 if God thinks that you are valuable to him, it don't, and it don't care what other folk think about you. It does not matter what people say about you. Because when God put into you, he's saying you are valuable to me. Regardless of what other people say about you, you are valuable to God. Someone say, God, he is concerned about us. <laughs> Yo, whisper, somebody say, God is concerned about us. So our thoughts, our thoughts are blinded by prejudice. Our thoughts are blinded by color, by passion. Yeah. Our thoughts are blinded by limited, limited by ignorance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our thoughts are broken. Our thoughts are fragmentary. Yeah. Our thoughts are perverted. If we start doubting the handwork of God. Can I get a witness in the house? When you begin to doubt God's purpose and plan for your life. Then you got to understand that God is trying to, to move you to another place in ministry. Can I get a witness in the house? And so now when you understand the work of God, then he will move you to the right place in life. Can I get a witness in the house? And so now our text tells us, he said, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord. He said, thoughts of peace and not of evil. Can I get a witness? And I stop by to tell you that when you want peace in the midst of turmoil, God will give you peace. Can I get a witness? And it don't matter what kind of roadblocks that is set up in your life. God, he will not allow evil to set you aside. Can I get a witness? But God, he's going to give an expected end. Can I get a witness? An expected end. A future of good hope. Can I get a witness? And I want to know if there's anybody here that can lift your hands and say, I How many 
y'all thank God for Jesus. I thank God. I thank God for Jesus. Yes. I thank God for sending his son on a plan, on a purpose to die for the sins of the world. Can I get a witness? Well, I'm going to my seat, but farewell, soldiers. Anybody here can lift your hands and say, And you 
don't have a conscience yeah. Yeah. Wow. if you're not like the son that took everything yeah. Yeah. Amen. and come to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. If you never come to yourself, you're dangerous. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And you don't deserve to be in the presence yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. 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 Conscience yeah. will let God know Yes. That I can restore you. Yes. All right. All right. All right. And I can rebuild you. Yes. And I can put you back on the wheel. Yeah. To get out the defects. Yeah. Defects. Yeah. Defects. Yes. Anybody took art in here? Anybody took art? You took art? Did y'all do clay? At Hoffman Middle School in Houston, <laughs> Mr. Venom, he would see our structures, and if there was bubbles or defects or cracks, yeah. he would tell us to take the clay, yeah. put it back on the wheel, yeah. right. smarster it down, yeah. All right. and reshape it. Because he recognized the defects yes, uh, yes. that was in the clay. Yes, uh, yes, and, and watch this. It had not yet gone into the, the sensor yes, uh, to be hard yet. So that was another opportunity yes, uh, to get out the defects. Yes, uh, so if we put it in the sensor where the heat is with yes. defects. When you pour water in, it's going to leak. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. you're right about it. Yes, sir. When you yeah. when you're trying to pour water in, it, it's going to leak. Yes. yes, yes. Because no one took out the time to yeah. put it back on the wheel. Somebody's going to get reshaped this week. Yeah. Come on now, right? I'm pouring it into somebody. So, so, somebody's going to get reshaped this week. God says, I'm going to give you another opportunity because you have purpose and I have a plan for you. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Right here, right here. Father God, we thank you and we bless you. We appreciate your favorite good thing. We thank you for Jeremiah and speaking in Jeremiah and letting everyone read this text Yes. To understand that even though there's some roadblocks ahead of us, mm -hmm. we still can go another round. Yes. Right. But you've got to be riding with us yes. to ensure us. Yes. To ensure us <laughs> that everything is going to work out yes. in our favor. Yes. Every man in here now, mm -hmm. if there are defects in any of us, yeah. reshape us, Please. remake us, yes. mold us again. Yes. Oh, yeah. Any woman in here mm -hmm. that have defects, oh, yeah. reshape, Please. restore, oh, yeah. and make over again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Every believer says amen. amen. Can we give God a hand? Can we give God a hand? Come on, somebody. Give Pastor Williams a hand. There is purpose that God has for your life. And the good news Amen. is that God doesn't throw us away. Amen. Amen. Give us one more chance. People may throw you away, but God doesn't throw us away. Um, there may be one today that don't know the Lord Jesus as their personal Savior. If you are not here, if you are here and you are not saved, today is a good day. Today is a good opportunity to know Amen. who the Lord Jesus is as your personal Savior. The Bible says, no man know the day or the hour when the Son of Man shall appear. Amen. We don't know. When God is going to call our name and our number. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, today is a good day to come and receive him.
If you want to rededicate your life to God, say, God, I've done straight away from your will. Know this, that the Lord still loves you. The Bible says, why we will yet sinners, the Lord Jesus Christ died for us. And even in the place of where we are right now, God says, I still love you. I still care about you. He, he will rededicate your life to the Lord. Today is a good day to come. If you don't have a church home, today is a good day to come and join the church. If you need to be in somebody's church, you need a pastor. Amen. You need somebody that's going to disciple you. After salvation, after there is regeneration, it becomes discipleship. So you need to be discipled. You need to be taught on how you need to live. Amen. 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 It just don't happen. So you need to get in a Bible-based church. It doesn't come by osmosis, but it comes by being taught the Word of God. Yes. If you're here and you yes. want prayer, today is a good day to come. If you don't yes. want to come, you can stand wherever you are, and we'll pray for you on today. There may be one today. There may be one. Love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up, Lord. I lift you up and I magnify your name. Oh, that's why, that's why my heart is filled with praise. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, Lord. I love you, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord, today because you care for me. In such a special way, that's why I praise you. I lift you up, Lord. I lift you up, oh, and I magnify your name. Oh, that's why, that's why my heart is filled with praise. Amen. I was to extend. You always accept or reject. Amen. Come on, let's give Pastor Williams. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Williams. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. We're going to prepare ourselves for the deacon ordination. Amen. On today. Amen. So we're excited. Amen. And we are excited. Amen. About what God is going to do on today. Uh, we're going to ask Brother Jefferson and Sister Jefferson to come at this moment. Amen. To come at this time. Amen. As we get ready. As we get ready. Amen. For the ordination on today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Amen. From this moment and this time. Don't we be seated on today? Amen. We have we we have elected to do um, the ordination and found the people. Amen. Praise the Lord. It is, it is, amen. It, it tremendously, it tremendously legitimizes the work of this brother. Um, he has several questions that he's going to have to answer today. Um, and I know he can do it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I know that he can do it. And he has some family and he has some friends here today. Um, and we are excited to see what God is doing in the life of our, our very own brother Melvin Jefferson. Amen. 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 Several, several weeks ago, um, when we presented him to the church, um, I stated to the church that if there may be anything, um, that we need to know um, in the reason why Brother um, Melvin Jefferson um, shall not serve in the position of deacon to come and let us know. Amen. 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 I, I didn't receive no phone calls. Amen. 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 And I, I clearly said it, brothers. I said, listen, make Amen. sure if you come, make sure um, you come. It's it's fact and not rumor. Amen. 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 I, I've, been a, I've been a police for a little, little amount of time, and I know folk make up lies. Amen. 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 There's something called false report. I wish you can lock church folk up with false report. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. 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 Amen.
myself. Amen. The book will make up stuff about you. Amen. Amen. It ain't something they know, it's something they heard. Amen. But it's good to know that this is a man of good report. Amen. This is a man of a good report and a man that has been faithful. Uh, thank God! Uh, thank God for the things that that He has continued to show Himself faithful. Uh, I'm going to bring our moderator of our council up here, Pastor John Goodman out of Houston. He's going to come. He's my good friend. Uh, thank God, I've been on Pastor Goodman here for a little while. He's from Huntsville. Amen. 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 He is a Huntsvillian. Amen. But he's going to come and orchestrate this ordination on today. But I know that Brother Jefferson is well ready and prepared. He has been faithful already. He has been serving as our Amen. Sunday school Amen. teacher. Amen. 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 Faithfully in this church. He has been on trial. Amen. He is a student of the word of God. Uh, he is a love of the church. And one thing that, I, that I'm happy about is he's a love of his pastor. Amen. 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 That's good to know, amen, that this brother is going to come on board. Amen. And we got some great things that we're going to do myself and this board. We're excited. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to turn in the hands of Pastor John Goodman. Amen. We have several other deacons. See, if there are any other deacons, if you will, please stand. Amen. We have some deacons out of Huntsville, out of Navasota. Come on, give these deacons a hand. All the deacons brothers that are here. All the deacons, deacons that are here. Amen. Stand. All the deacons that are here. We have our very own Deacon Jefferson that is back there as well. Amen. Thank you so much. All these deacons are here. You may be seated. They're going to ask a series of questions. Um, and Brother Jefferson are going to have to answer them. All right. Amen. Pastor Goodman at this time. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. 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 I want to first to give praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh -huh. who is the head of my life. Yeah. Then to the angel of this church, Pastor Max Tolliver. Yes, and then to this preaching machine behind me. Amen. 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 The, the portion of the message that I did get was certainly from the Lord. Amen. 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 May God bless you real good. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Now this is a special day. Amen. amen. You're not going to for a long time. I'm excited about uh, what God is doing through this pastor and through this ministry. Yes. And uh, I certainly don't take it lightly to to be asked to preside and moderate this particular service. Amen. Right. Now some things I may say may have been already said, but uh, I want to put put this a couple of emphasis on some things. Okay. Now, now we have met to to ordain, right? To ordain. This our brother. Yeah, yeah. Brother Melvin, who? Jefferson. 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 Amen. So that lets me know that the church is nobody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Melvin Jefferson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now what are we here to do? We're here to ordain him to the office and the word. Of Christian ministry. Yes. Don't miss that. I said we have, we're here to ordain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word ordain here means to appoint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Means to appoint yeah, yeah, yeah. to the office mm -hmm. yeah. and the word of ministry. Yes. 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 Not to the word of Trouble. Not to the word of murmur and to be a hindrance to the church or be a hindrance to the pastor. But to do the word of Christian ministry. The function uh, I like to use the word Function or role of a deacon. I see that someone already talked about it earlier, but but I'm going to put a couple of emphasis on some things yeah, yeah, yeah. and just reemphasize the office of a deacon uh, originated in the Book of Acts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of us know that, right? Yes. Verses one through six. And it was by the appointment of seven men. Yeah. 
That was it was by the appointment of seven men yeah, yeah, yeah. to operate, if you will, All right. and function as a helper mm -hmm. to the disciples, All right. or either to the apostles. Who were the apostles? Yeah. The apostles were men who were chosen by Jesus, what? To spread the gospel. Yeah. 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 Someone like the pastor. Yes. And those of us who lead what congregation. Mm -hmm. So we find that the apostles were chosen by what? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know the difference between the ordination of a deacon and the ordination of a pastor. I'm glad you asked. Deacons are appointed. Yeah, all right. That, I mean, could God have anybody to disagree with that? <laughs> they are appointed right. to do the work of the ministry yeah, yeah, yeah. in the church. Yes, right. Pastors were given by God. He just preached about Jeremiah 15. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how do, what should the relationship be yeah, yeah. between the deacon and the pastor? Yeah, yeah. All right. The word deacon in the Greek, uh, diakonos, yeah, yeah. would simply mean what? Servant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Servant. So the first thing that a deacon should know is that you are a what? Servant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm. Yes. In Acts 6, these seven men or helpers were called, uh, wasn't called by deacon in, in the scripture. But through much study of the scripture, you will find out that the word deacon and I, don't, and I don't want you to miss this. The Greek word for deacon is diakonos, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Servant. I want to really hone in on this word servant. You are to serve who? This congregation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your pastor. Yeah. And help what with the vision of this church. Yeah. Not the church down the street. Yeah. But Mount Zion. Yeah. Hmm. So the seven men, they were set aside to serve and to minister the needs of the church in Jerusalem. Yeah. In there in the church, that was that was some complaining going around. Yeah. All right. Okay, that was some complaining going around in regard to the distribution of what food. Yeah. So the disciples called the church together. Yes. And and he instructed them to look out among them yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. and find what seven men, yeah, yeah. seven men, yeah. yes, to handle the distribution and the complaining that was going on, yeah. Yeah. so that they could tend to the ministry yeah. and preach the gospel yeah. without any other hindrances. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Now. Uh, the function of a deacon uh, is not just that of a position. Notice, I said it's a function. Yeah. It's a role. Mm -hmm. Not just a position. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. And your role is to be a peacemaker. Yes. Not peace breaker. Yeah. 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 Now we have some deacons mm -hmm. that are peace breakers. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah, right. But you're called to be a peacemaker, yeah, yeah. preserving harmony, mm -hmm. order, and unity yeah, yeah. within the church. Yeah, yeah. You should be involved in every ministry that you can. Yeah, yeah. And make yourself available to your church and to your pastor. Yeah, yeah. Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Deacons are not business managers. Yeah. Yeah. I said deacons. Yes. 
are not business managers of the church. Yeah. You are ordained or appointed by the church for the church. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Yeah. So you ought to be a what servant. Yeah. Yeah. Help us. What are some of the things you ought to be doing? You ought to be visiting the sick. Yeah. 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 Helping those who are in need. Yeah. And carrying out the vision of your pastor. Yes, uh, and the wishes of your what church. Uh, and then I need to drop something else on me. That's how I found out that when you ordain someone, right. it cannot be on friendship, yeah. partnership, yeah. Or, yeah. or kinship. Yeah. 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 Rewind, push play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When one is appointed to serve, yeah. Yeah. it should not be on partnership, yeah. friendship, yeah. or kinship. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I see a lot of churches that yeah. appoint and ordain deacons yeah. for various reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Various reasons. Yeah. But over the last 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. I've seen some things that was not scriptural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've talked to Pastor Max on several occasions. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've talked about some doctrinal issues. Yeah. And it's evident that he knows his place. Yeah, yeah. He knows his role as a pastor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's proven that. Yeah. Even to Mount Zion. Give him a hand clap of praise. Amen. <laughs> Young pastor. Yeah. But get bold. Yeah. Now there's a difference between a young pastor mm -hmm. and being arrogant. Yeah. All right. One thing I can talk, one thing that I can say about yeah. Pastor Max. Mm -hmm. He's a bold young preacher. Amen. And if he's right. And if it's scriptural, he's going to stand on it. Yes, that's it. And he's going to hold those who are under him yes. accountable. Yes, right. So don't be uh, dismayed yes. if he pull you to the side. Mm -hmm. And so right. thinking maybe we need to handle it this way. Yes. Don't be afraid to talk to your pastor. Yes. He's open. And we don't always know everything. Yeah, yeah. Now that's some pastor that will tell you. Yeah. It's my way or the highway. Yes, yeah. yes, but that's not how it works. Yeah, right. God gave us what they call the ministry of helps. Yeah. Yes, that's often looked over. When you look at the gifts that God gave to the church. Yes. That little four letter word, five letter word yeah. is overlooked oftentimes. Yeah. The ministry of helps. So God gave not only deacons, yes. not only the members, but he gave what? Uh, yes, sir. Now, don't forget that you're not a business manager. Yeah. That's it. The vision is not up to you mm -hmm. to give the vision. Yes, sir. It's up to you to follow the vision. Yes, sir. Yeah. I said follow the vision. Not catch it because there's a difference between catch it yeah. and follow. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Uh, oftentimes, I hear pastors say, "Y'all need to catch the vision." Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. You need to follow the vision. Yeah. Follow the vision yeah. because there's only what one leader, yeah. Yeah. and there only can be what one way, one one vision, I should say. So, uh, you ought to be a peacemaker, yeah. preserve harmony, yeah. and keep order in the church. Yeah. Don't let no one talk about your pastor. Yeah. Um, I was told several years ago, uh, Pastor Max, that by uh, one of the deacons at our church, and he's still there now, he said, Pastor, long as you write, as long as you write, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't need you when I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you when I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now, now somebody don't understand that theology. Yeah. What does Galatians 6 and 1 say? When you find your brother in a fault, those who are what? Spiritual should go to him. How? Meekness and what? Love and what is that? Oh, okay. okay. So it's not uh, your job to, to uh, it's your job to serve. Serve, serve. It's not based upon friendship, kinship, partnership. Although it involves those three, but it's not based on those three. Become a, a servant of the church, in the church, yeah. yes. known as a deacon. Yeah. You have to, and you must meet the qualifications. Yeah. You must meet the qualification of what? First Timothy 3. Yes. Are you with me? Yeah. Right. Yes. Yes. So you, and whenever you, uh, I heard Pastor Tyler say that he bought our candidate for uh, bought him before the church. And everybody said, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He fits the qualification. Mm -hmm. Now, as he's been appointed today, and as, at, and as hands are being laid on him today, those of you that said he was fit for the office, yeah. There's gonna be some times when he don't agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. And I want you to know this too. There's gonna be some times those same people yeah. that appointed you right. is gonna talk about you. Yeah. You just side with the pastor. Yeah. You side with certain members. Yeah. Give them a definition of service. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So all of the qualifications have been met. Yeah. And time has been far spent. I don't need to go through those. But 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 remember that you are to serve. Amen. Jesus said, I came to serve. Yeah. Not to be served. Yes, and some of us, even as pastors and leaders, mm -hmm. need to understand that also. That's right. That's right. He said, Jesus said, I came to serve. Right. Not to be served. So there's no doubt in my mind based upon what Pastor shared with me and, and what I've witnessed today uh, thus far. Thus far that, that you are ready to be what? Appointed. Now, we're up to the what are the questions there. Now y'all we're up to He's already been presented. Mm -hmm. He's already came before the church. Yeah. The role of a deacon has already been explained. Mm -hmm. And now we're up to the question of the candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me that one? Thank you. Okay, Pastor, thank you. Deacon Shaw, can you come up and ask the candidate? A question. Brother Jefferson, first question. You have two spiritual offices in the church as the Bible declared. Pastor and deacon. Amen. 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 Get the merchant. Second question. What are the ordinances of the church? The ordinances of the church are the Lord's Supper and Baptism. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Dig it, aren't you? Tables in the church. The Lord's Supper, the table for the poor and the 
table for the pastor. All right. Amen. Deacon Johnson. How should the church be supported? The church, the church should be supported through tithes and offerings. Right. Now, now where is that found that in the scripture? It is found in Malachi 3 and 10. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Good. Amen. Good. That's a Deacon O'Banion. of deacon and where should they be found? The qualifications of a deacon are found in 1 Timothy chapter 3 verses 8 through 13. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, uh, can you give us a few of them? Yeah, give me two of them at least. Okay, a deacon should be not double tongued. All right, I like that. He should not uh, be uh, lust after filthy lure. All right, he yeah. should be a husband to one wife. Keep going. All right. He should be a ruler of his house yeah. and of his children. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Mount Zion, y'all hear that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Deacon Archie. Great job. That's up. What is a deacon supposed to do in the church according to the Bible? The deacon should take care of the church's business as far as taking care of the widows, orphans, and serving tables. Yeah. Amen. I'm sorry, man. I got something to say. <laughs> That's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You're good, deacon. You're good. Amen. Deacon Houston. Yeah. Deacon Houston, we would come, please. All right. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> That's the spirit of all I have. All right. Number seven. Yes, sir. Who decides the church needs as pastor? <laughs> God decided that the church needed a pastor. Amen. Right. right. Uh, can you tell me anything about Jeremiah three fifteen? This off the top of your head. I will give you pastors after my dying on oh, 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 hey, hey. and they will um, fill you with knowledge and understanding. There we go. My, 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 my. Uh, really he answered that one. I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. But we're gonna let the church know you qualify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we don't, we won't, we won't let them know when you say something. Yeah. It's scriptural. Yeah. 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 And that's what you want. Yeah. yeah. That's the purpose of that. You know, there's some churches that uh, carry the candidate to the office. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. You don't know what's going on like that. And then they, yeah. and then they come out and say, okay, this is, yes. he's fully yeah. and duly qualified. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But I love this. Yeah. Yeah. He's answering the question in the front yeah. of the church yeah. Yeah. to let you know that he's duly what qualified. Yeah. Big leap. Besides, the church need needed deacons. The apostles. All right. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother Jefferson. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Well, what do you find? What well, what do you find that uh, who decides? First of all, who decided that there should be deacons? The apostles. Right. And that is found in Acts verses 3 through 10, I believe, of chapter 3. Right? 6 through 10, I'm sorry. All right. Acts chapter 6. All right. All right. Amen. Good. All right. Pastor Tolliver. No. We have a deacon from another church that was going to be deacon? No, I didn't. Oh. All right. All right. Um, the word deacon means? Servant. Have you been saved? Yes. Are you born again? Yes. What is the proof? I... My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I have um, accepted Him yes, as sir. my Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And what scripture? That is Ephesians chapter two, verses eight and nine. Yes, sir. For so by grace are you saved through faith, Amen. and that not of ourselves; it is the gift of God, Amen. not of the works, Amen. lest any man should boast. My. Myself and the council, we're going to go to the back if someone can sing us a song. Sing us in a song and we're going to come right back out. Can someone can sing us a song with that? Can I request a song? Go, request a song. <laughs> I, I saw Sister Cole come in and I, I would like for Sister Cole to uh, help us sing Walk With Me. Boy, hey, yo. Yeah. I hear Sister Cole back there somewhere. <laughs> Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Walk with me, Lord. Walk with me. Wow.
I'm sorry. No. Y'all, I can see the comments I'm asking. The certificate ordination, Melvin Jefferson, having been chosen one of good report, full of the spirit and of wisdom, and capable of using the office well, was set apart publicly to the office and the work of the ministry. Yes, sir. On behalf of no. On behalf of Mount Zion and myself, your pastor, we are proud on today, December the 6th, 2020, here at Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church in Huntsville, Texas, to ordain you as deacon of Mount Zion yeah. Missionary Baptist Church. Come on, come on. Deacons, if y'all can, I know we are in a COVID environment. If we can, let's come as close as we can with social distancing. Is that all right? We want to pray for him. Yes. We want to pray for him yes. on today. Yes. This this is a great work. Yes. Amen. This is a this is a great work. Yes. This is this is surely something I know that God has prepared him for. Yes. yes. And I know that he's going to do well. Your geese. I'll tell you what this. Not only is this is a physical work. Um, but every devil in hell yes. is angry. Is angry. Yes. All right, talk. Yes. Hear me, brother and sister Jefferson. Yes. Hear me, hear me. And the, the board knows this is my sentiments. Yes. Don't let nothing here mm -hmm. come in between anything at home. Amen. I shared this with, with my board when I got here. Is God ordained the family first? Yes. 
Yes. So, so the Lord knows that my, my thought process is if you got to spend time with your wife on your anniversary, yes, sir. go spend time with your wife. Yeah. If it's first Sunday, somebody else can do. Come on. Come on. Come on. You hear me? Yes. For a long time, we have sacrificed our family Amen. and we called it God. Yes. But if the God and God looked at the man and said, Man, shall not be alone? Yes. God put him to sleep and said, Lord, he pulled, pulled a woman out of the side of the man. Yes, sir. So I pray that as God elevates y'all, listen, y'all, this is a great work. I know you're going to do wonderful. I know you're going to do well. I pray God continue to keep y'all and protect y'all. Yes, The Bible says, I have not seen, not eyes. It says, I have not seen, yes. nor ear have heard, or the to the heart of man, what God yes. is about to do. I believe God is about to do some great things. Yes. Yes. Father, we thank you right now. Thank you, right thank you. Yeah. For this, our brother. Yes. yes. And his lovely wife. We pray, God, that you continue to bless them, keep them, and protect yes. them. Thank yes. you, Lord, for this moment of elevation. Yes. yes. And even, God, we thank you for the moment of celebration. Yes. yes. Even the moment of, of edification. But, yes. God, we thank you right now that you continue to protect them with your blood. Thank you. Father God, to watch over them, keep them, and protect them. God, we bind the hand of the enemy. Yes. That comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Yes. But we thank you right now that your protection, your blood yes. is watching over them. God, yes. and as, as they do yes. for the church, as yes. he do the work of ministry, God, yes. we pray, God, that you continue yes. to keep them. Yes, Lord. Continue, God, to watch over them. Watch continue, over them. Father God, to let your hand be with them in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for God, just the heart desire and the willingness that you have given him to yes. do your work. Yes. Go around here. Yes, Lord. Yes. At Mount Zion, there's a lot of work to do. Yes. There's few, God, but I know, God, that you're raising up yes. strong men. Yes, yes, Lord. You're raising up wise men. Yes. God, you're raising up willing men, Father God, yes. to come and help put the hand at the plow. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for who we are and what you have. Yes, Lord. Your son, Jesus, name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And amen. 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 Listen, the, the brothers, what a deacon, the, the chairman of the deacon board, he has a presentation. These brothers are here. Right. Um, the deacons of Mount Zion, Deacon Horace Archie, Deacon Thurston Archie, Deacon Shaw, Deacon Johnson, Deacon O'Banion, and our very own, he wished he could have been here today, is Deacon Kendall. All right. He sent his love, and he'll share some things um, on today. Um, but Deacon Shaw, our chairman, has something that he wants to present to you and say to you. Hey, Mike. First of all, it's a privilege to have you working by our side on the big board. Yeah. Even though we've seen the work you've been doing in the past, you uh, teach Sunday school, and you come out here help us on the yard, <laughs> and you're involved in all that that we do out here. It's really been good to have you here with us. It's going to be even better to continue, to continue in your continued service. Uh, as far as your wife concerned, it's going to be time they don't want you to come out here. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while. She's still That's right. Yeah. 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 You know, if you ain't out there, come on, hunt. You're out there, bro. Oh, man. 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 I'm glad to have you, Lord Yeah. Amen. 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 Oh, y'all yeah, will be my sisters and brothers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be the same in heaven. Yes, sir. This is my, I already told you that's my brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you, that's my sister. <coughs> and not by my mama, but that's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you all are my sisters and brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
Lord, I thank you for Brother Joseph. And actually, I've been looking at him for a long time. Yes. Amen. And actually, he always done things right. Yes. And actually, I appreciate it. Yes. Actually, he had, he, he, he had taught Sunday school and I could get the joy out of his Sunday school teaching. Mm-hmm. And actually, I learned behind him. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes teachers you can't you can't you can't understand. Them. Yeah. But actually I can understand him well. Yeah, yeah. And I appreciate yeah. Brother Justin. I appreciate my pastor. Yeah. And I ask y'all to pray for me. Yes. And help me out. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Ben. Well, I, I told you this morning when we got here that this was this was just a service to, to make things official. <laughs> So now it's official. Amen. Amen. I'm Deacon Overstreet from Trinity Baptist Church. And I want to say something because I was a military guy. I see that you've been proactive. See, you've already been doing these things. Mm-hmm. Here we already we've already seen it, and uh, that's how we've been, been evaluated. So I just want to say something that's very inspirational to know I'm a son of Sunday school superintendent. I would have loved to have you with me, you know, because you're a teacher and you're already you're teaching the word. And I just thank God for you. And I just want you to know that we have come down here to support you and your wife. Amen. And just keep doing what you're doing. Amen. Same quote. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Brother Jefferson, first to all these pastors and to God. Brother Jefferson, I, I, I've known you for quite a while, and uh, we've even been in a men's conference together. You always spoke well. I knew you were studying God's Word. And uh, I, one little thing I want to say is remember you're a servant. That's your pastor. Follow the pastor. We at Deacon has a problem. We want to get ahead of the pastor. No. That's not our job. No. God didn't call us to be right. a pastor. He called us to be a deacon. No. That's your leader. Mm-hmm. Whatever he said, do, do it. If he said we're going out there on that tree and have church, get in line. Yeah. Don't try to tell him because God will take care of him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good evening, Brother Justin. I'm Dean Bennett from the Friendship Baptist Church in Minnesota. And uh, what I gained from the service today is uh, what I've always followed as a deacon is to follow the vision of the pastor. Mm-hmm. He is the pastor. That's what's been uh, laid out here, and uh, you, you can't go wrong. Right. Amen. Amen. Man. <laughs> Couldn't make a better choice. Amen. Yes, you know, the people make a choice. Yeah. Just, man, stay strong. Keep your head up. My name is Don Archer. You may wonder why I'm here. I'm here out of respect and honor for Melvin Jefferson. Yeah. I've known him for, we're trying to figure out earlier, I think about 35 years. Wow. I've worked with him. He's been my supervisor. I've been his supervisor. <laughs> uh, one thing in the workplace, uh, a lot of times I would have to ask uh, people to do something. And they would always say, yeah, that's a good idea, but, and they had something else to do. Yeah. Never did I ask Melvin to uh, go to Navasota and teach bus driver training or to Rockdale to move a simulator or to drive some students in Sealy, <laughs> that he didn't show up and do it. Now, I'm sure his wife had a big dinner at home, and guess what? He had a cold McDonald's on the way down there and back. That's, that's <laughs> But I'm here to honor him. He is a great person in the workplace. You know him here, but I know him in the workplace. He's the same person in the workplace that I've heard about him here. He'll make you a great deacon. Hello, my name is Don Bryant. Melvin's 
Yeah. My friend, Mr. Grant Pierce, that's college, and he would make y'all a great deal. Yeah. He worked hard, and he talked about work, and, and he talked about the council. So he was a great choice for y'all. Yeah. Amen. 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 Come on, let's get these people these folks probably tell he's a little bit younger than the deacons okay but that doesn't mean we can't follow him right? age does, uh, is not a requirement for leadership okay? so we are very honored and privileged to have him as our leader you know and uh, we appreciate that fact I want to uh, say something to, to Deacon O'Bannon yeah. When I first came to Mount Zion, probably back in the 80s was my first tenure year, and I looked at the men of Mount Zion, and they were men, yeah. you know, and uh, that's what made me decide to join Mount Zion, were the men in this church. Yeah. You know, I've been to other churches, there were two or three men, when I come into Mount Zion, it's a whole bunch of men. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to go to church with a bunch of women. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go somewhere where there was some visibility of men. Yeah. 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 And men were taking that leadership role. Yes, sir. And I just want to say to uh, Brother O'Banion, um, Brother George Jones is going on now, Brother Cole, those are the men that I looked up to. Those are the men that oh, set yeah. an example. Yeah. And I, I appreciate that. Wow. Okay, and I appreciate Brother O'Banion for... Um, looking at me for this office. Yeah. You know, uh, I had turned the position down a couple of times myself because I didn't feel as though I was ready. And I think any time that you take a position, you need to first of all make sure, regardless if you're nominated or not, you need to make sure you're ready for it. Yeah. Regardless of what other people think. They may think more of you than you do of yourself. So make sure that you're ready for anything that you get involved in, and then you'll do the work. And you do the job. I want to thank you guys for coming out today and may God bless and keep each and every one of you. We love y'all and thank God for you. Sister Jefferson, listen, um, I, I reminded my wife, um, I said, listen, Sister Jefferson is the one that when we was going through some things in Huntsville, popped at the house with some food and said, here goes something for you and your babies. And listen, we'll never forget it. I learned something a long time ago. People don't got to do nothing for you. Amen. And if they do, at least you can tell them thank you. Yes. And you appreciate it. And so listen, we're excited. Time to go to work. Amen. 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 Listen, y'all. Listen, thank God. We're going to conclude this moment of the service. If you will, all stand. Put your tithes and your offering in your hand. We're going to have a brother at the back door. Thank God for Pastor Goodman, y'all. Amen. That is here. Thank God. Pastor Williams, I gotta get you to come back. I gotta, we gotta get somebody on the Hammond organ or the, or the keyboard and let you let you come back and, and preach, man. Um, um, friendship, God bless y'all, man. Listen, listen, God bless y'all. Ava's home is all up and down through the country. Amen. 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 all up through the country, and so we thank God. Thank God for Sister Mary O'Banion. Thank you so much for coming on today. Amen. She came. Thank God, Minister Evans. Thank God for all these these deacons and your pastors allowing to come. The Jefferson family, we love you all over here in Mount Zion. Amen. Amen. Mount Zion, good to see y'all. We open back up today after being virtual fifth Sunday. We're going to be back next Sunday again. Amen. 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 Listen, we're going to let y'all go. We're going to have last words and benediction by Pastor Eric Williams. Amen. 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 Thank you all once again for the opportunity. I um, want to say thanks again to Deacon Grant and Deacon Over Street. Thanks again. I, um, 
I am excited about this day because there is another addition to the Mount Zion family and to the kingdom family. And that is what makes the difference. Yes, sir. Adam could not manage. Adam could not manage. Adam could not manage the garden. Even after the Lord gave him opportunity for man to name the fowls of the air yeah. and the fish of the sea. Manage. 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 Okay. Father God, we thank you and we appreciate you now. We thank you for what our eyes have seen, ears have heard, and hearts have felt. And then we thank you for allowing us to be witnesses yeah. of this elevation of this our brother. Yes, Lord. Let this day always be remembered as a day of elevation yes. and a day of addition. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, God, as we leave here, take us to our various destinations. Let no good home or danger before us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes, Lord. And the child of God says, Amen. 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 We'll excuse according to your custom. Much prayer. Much prayer. Much power. Little power. Little power. Little power. No prayer. No power. No power. Look at somebody. Don't hug them. Say, I love you. I love you. And you can't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing about it. Look at somebody. Say, I love you. I love you. And you can't do nothing about it. 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 You can't do nothing when you get there, now they, 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 you know, give them about 30 minutes and it'll be out. Okay. But, but you know.